folks, ladies and gentlemen, Beano Black and basically the freshest footage from Sechi right here from the fourth. It's only two days old. Okay. Now there's nothing really dramatic. It's been in the last two videos, which I'll try to make a little bit more plain and simple this time. Because basically you got Jupiter over here, and you're going to see that on stereo that when you're shooting from B, they don't have Jupiter marked. But I can show you Jupiter because I got JPL right there. And I'll scoot down and you'll know that the date and the time. And remember, Earth is, is there's your February 6th, 2013 my central standard time and dates down right in the corner. Okay, now nothing is out the backside from Earth. Okay, and I can go ahead and show you that from here. There's nothing back there. The only thing that's back there is just Jupiter, which I will show you the angle of Jupiter. Jupiter's right there. The sun's right there. So when we go ahead and go to, I'll take you to stereo uh, BH1 real fast. We'll go down to BH1, and you will see that that should more than likely be Jupiter. Uh, could be Earth. There's a slight possibility it's Mercury, but because of the idea that it's the distance it's away from the sun over here, the sun's right there in the middle. Okay, and as you can see, they're blocking over here, but don't let ahead get you on anything on that right now they are blocking something they don't want you to see but it's no big deal uh, no matter what earth and we've had that big 8.0 quake because of the gravitational pull because the idea that earth is over here all by itself and that's why it, you know we had the 8.4 earthquake and i slide head right up and threw that in but the angles that you will see and let me make sure that i get the right set you that we're looking here on the fourth is the closest and the freshest so the footage in the last two videos that I put up real fast yesterday might have got you confused, but the idea that if you're paying attention to the fact that the idea that when you see these planetoid objects that are over here to the right, when you go go watch the two videos I made yesterday, okay? Uploaded them yesterday, made them yesterday. And there's an earthquake one that I interrupted and I uh, in uploaded in between the two videos. But those planetoid objects, which are planets, that are even larger than Earth, and you'll see their magnetical lines on them. And we'll go ahead and see if we can get the footage here real fast, because I'll pop back from the fourth back through, and you'll see what we're talking about. No, but no matter what, I can also, when I go to the 31st, I can show you where they've blackened out, where I was able to prove exactly that they were shooting and got Jupiter, which more than likely, like I say, when we look at this right now, that should be more than likely Jupiter. Don't care if I'm wrong on that. It could be Earth, and like I say, there's a slight possibility that it could be Mercury if they're zoomed in. Okay, but I really doubt that, since it, the only reason that that would be is that guys, it's big and bright looking, and then it's shooting from behind. Okay, so no matter what, you make sure you pay attention to the map, and that the idea that right now with Earth over here, there is absolutely I'm not playing with you at all. This is blown up, the sun's in the well in the hole, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Earth is the only thing back here, and then the only other thing that's back here is just Jupiter. Okay. And on the height thing, we can mess around with real fast too, because we can go ahead and we can bring up, uh, I can bring the height around. We can flatten out Earth's rotation right there. Earth is DA14 right there. Earth is flat there. da 14 is, you know, has an orbit like that. That's its orbit right there. That's DA14's orbit. Now, Uranus is in front, okay? It's on this side, okay? So don't let that fool you, because it basically, I can make it look like Uranus is back there, but uh, by going like this, see, I can bring it, but Uranus is in front of us, okay? Uh, and I bring it like this, and as you can see, Uranus is in front. So, absolutely, you see Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto is all over here. So, Earth is light over here, out in space. The space is infinite. There's a, sh there's a heap of objects back there. So, now that's what we're going to do with basically go watch the last two videos so you don't get too much confused. And let me pop back through these dates. Now here's the footage from the third in uh, you know light speed travel that there was a hell of a you know CME okay so this is the footage from the third real fast just a great and then I'm gonna pop back and give you the third all the way back to the 31st and stuff and I'll be able to show you where they shaded uh, Jupiter out try to hide it from you so it wouldn't be able to see what I saw and I should have taped it I'm I'm in trouble for not taping it when I taped it when I should have taped it okay here's from the second again and it had pretty had pretty much a big ass blast on the second too okay. And I'm taping these fast, so now relax about it because it's all electrical. It's not flames, ladies and gentlemen, it's electrical. In Earth, our atmosphere and plasma handles it very good. And basically, it's just like a mama bear trying to pull the cubs back in, okay? Because basically, as I've showed you, everything's on the other side of the sun, okay? Right here, and then also showing you with JPL, uh, right here, 
you see how everything's on this side of the sun right now? Jupiter's getting over here, okay? And basically it is, Jupiter's on the, this side. So Earth's over here with these other planetoid objects that are in our solar system, okay? Real actual, and we'll be going back to this in a little bit. It might even take two videos today, but basically when I caught the Van Allen belts here, that's the sun, and this is all the magnetical connection. So as Earth's over here all by itself, the only thing's over there was Jupiter at the time of this shot, and other stuff, yes. But the idea that right now, currently, no matter what, we are over here by ourselves with only Jupiter has just left recently. Okay, it's Jupiter's basically cut off by the sun because it's directly in line with it. You can't really get a shot of it any much anymore. Okay, now we're showing from the first there this footage, okay? So you really don't see nothing, but then when I was showing you the 30th, 29th, 27th, and so on, you're gonna see the planetoid objects that are actually in our solar system, okay? i.e. solar system in our magnetical, okay, you see, to our sun in our magnetical pull, okay? And then this was stuff that I shot, and I'll be going back to this, and, and hopefully, probably, it's gonna probably take a half an hour, 15, two 15 minute videos, and as you can see, that we don't really even see much here, and I'll have more explanation for, you know, basically the pictures will tell you the truth, okay? So now I'm gonna pop back, I'm gonna go to the first, I mean, go to the, to the 31st. Now, on the 31st is where I saw, and basically the good example is when you see this big CME up here, the light, they don't show you, they darkened it out. They have layers and layers and layers. They darkened up here big time because I've been looking and looking and looking. I couldn't find where I seen Jupiter before. And what I'll give you a good example of the darkening is I'll be able to, I'm, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna cue it up. And I was able to cue it up very fast. As you can see, this is a CME and I'll blow it up even more real fast to like 200%. Uh, and you'll see there's a CME coming off, but you see how dark they got it? They have it so dark that they darkened up, and as you can see, and you'll watch, I'll put, I'll play the whatever speed that they have it set up at, and I can even speed it up a little bit. There was a huge CME that was up here, and then I could end up seeing Jupiter up here. And as you know, with me showing you JPL, that is where Jupiter's at, pretty much. We're on the sixth here, but even if I just back it up a couple days, you're gonna see that the idea they were able to catch Jupiter in there on the 31st. Okay, I'm not gonna play around. You can go to JPL and play with it and you'll see it yourself because I can't change JPL, you see? And then, but they can change the coloring by, by sitting there and playing with, and then I'll try to speed this up a little bit. But you'll see that there, there's all this CME action that comes off, but they darkened it so you couldn't really, and it was a beautiful shot of Jupiter. And I should have saved it because you could see Jupiter and his moons in the shadow. It's like the shadows in space put off the same size of the object. And that's a NASA fact, okay? But as you see this here, CME here, you see this one here, how it's just, why the hell is it just bright right there and it didn't put any light off? They've played around with it and darkened it up so you can't see Jupiter where it's actually at because that's where Jupiter was basically close. It didn't move that damn much, okay? Jupiter was at this angle with the sun from shooting over where B is at. See, B's shooting like this and Jupiter's over here and you can see it on JPL, okay? And then they darkened it up on the 31st, okay? They darkened it up in here because as I'll just, I'll also scroll down here and you can back up and freeze it. You see, you can see the CMEs when they freeze because you get to see objects in their shadows. Because what happens is from the CMEs, we get light and space, and you can see the uh, remnants that are behind these planetoid objects or stars, even if they are stars. But you end up seeing the shadows because see, the CME flashes out towards Earth, the B cameras where it's at and you end up seeing the shadows because the light is shot from the CME electrical energy that magnetizes and pulls Earth behind the sun. And then you get shadows of the stars or planetoid objects, you get the shadows back behind. And then they darkened it because with this CME up here, you could see the shadow of Jupiter and all its moons. And it was right along the borderline right here, okay? As you can see that basically no matter what, Jupiter was basically straight borderline pretty much on 31st, which, this is the footage of it. So basically that's what's happened. They somewhat darkened it up to the factual that all these planetoid objects, and now I'm gonna re-show it and you'll also see it. Go back and see all the footage that I put in yesterday's two videos and you'll see all these planetoid objects. I'm gonna go show you again now. And there's the objects going out of view right there. Okay, and this is on the 29th. Okay. And remember all these magneticals are right there and you're gonna see it in the footage you can go. This is repetitive of yesterday. So I wanna get over to A, okay? And you see all the magnetical lines and you can see that these planets exist. Okay, and they're there. Jupiter's way over here on the angles and everything like that. Remember, remember these angles here, okay? That no matter what, Jupiter's over there, line of the sun, anything like that. And there's nothing over here on the back side. Remember that. There's nothing back there, okay? 
there's nothing back here, just Jupiter's back here, and it's basically in line with the sun over here as I show you on JPL. Okay? So in our solar system, no matter what, we have these planetoid objects, magnetical lines, they show that they're there. They're in our, remember the bow shock theory, basically NASA has, they're showing you the truth. You just have to put everything together, and Bino's putting the puzzle together for you. So once again, here on the 27th, all those objects are there, magnetical lines, and all those planets are there. There's lots of them. There's actually four. We'll get over to A and B, and I'll show you that in a second. Hang on. Remember, the 30th is the greatest footage because it, it shows you the atmospheres of these planets right there. There. And there. The atmospheres of the planets. The most important thing is to remember Beauchamp and the actual factual that, see, the, this showing us that these planets are rotating either either if they do rotate even if they do rotate counterclockwise like everything else in our universe does that we know with the sun okay then that means the earth is faster than these two planet than these three or four planets that we no matter what you can see their atmospheres and you know they're there and no matter what even though they only show you Jupiter back here with earth there and also we even show you the factual actual here the earth there and you no matter what you know that earth is there in front of the sun and B shooting from over here at an angle that they get just the front side of the sun and then they get Earth and they get Jupiter and I've already showed you what we're shooting today. So no matter what, these planets are here. We know the bow shock is bigger than what the scientists, always, the, the satellites that are still operational, that are still studying the bow shock, which are doing a great job that they haven't fallen apart and they did great engineering on keeping those satellites together and they're still up there giving us telemetry. So the magnetical uh, connection of the sun here is a good shot of the Van Allen belts. They just keep on getting wider and wider and wider way the hell out there. Okay, the bands, the, the magnetical pull of the sun. Okay, and what you're seeing right here is planet. These are planets that I've just been just back up the footage and these are planets because Jupiter's up over here absolutely and you can't really see it in the shooting and stuff like that. So we go back to the footage and then I'm going to be able to take you over to A and B and also show you those planetoid objects and you'll see the magnetical lines and it's in the solar system, okay? These planets are in the solar system. Now, there's still a possibility that they could be turning the opposite rotation and it's going to be a great scientific find for magneticism because the idea that these could be going clockwise and everything else in our universe is going counterclockwise, okay? We rotate counterclockwise around the sun, everything, all the planetoid objects in the right here that you see and plus Jupiter and I'm not sure right now for what the hell this is missing right there when I showed you that shot but the idea that everything everything rotates that we know of around the Sun which is in the well right here in the middle right here and if I show you on here also there's the Sun and everything that we know rotates counterclockwise around the Sun that means it goes around the Sun like this now no matter what we are seeing slight possibility that these planets and these atmospheres are possibly going Either that or they just, they rotate around the sun hell of flipping slow and we're just now for the first time realizing that they're in our solar system. That's right, they are in the sun's solar system in the grasp of this magnetical of the Van Allen belts, okay? So let's go ahead and see what I can get to go ahead and, because I've already showed you all of this footage, watch the other two videos I made yesterday. Plus I made three because of the earthquake, okay? So let's go see some A and B sh action. Now remember, no matter what, this is Jupiter here. You'll see the magnetical line form it, and I'll be able to also go ahead and as we pause just enough here, if I can get it, and I'll step, boom, 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 come on, get out of the way, and up there you'll see there's Jupiter, okay? Jupiter's over here, okay? Remember we showed you the meatball, and the meatball was moving away, and moved away from Earth, and went. And we knew that it was in front of Venus, remember? Okay, and it's huge. Remember, distance is the millions of miles that you're seeing here, okay, and also billions because infinity pretty much it's it, just the idea that you're only going to get light capture. That means everything is in so many uh, you distance of Earth that are way the hell out here in the Milky Way galaxy and so forth. So we can see for way more than the millions of miles that is encompassing these spaces in between Jupiter and Earth and the Sun and everything like that because you can see very, very far distant stars and you have to learn how to separate with light and positioning. GPS, but basically, uh, yeah, NASA can do it with laser radar and everything like that. So, with lasers, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Sonar, radar, uh, radio, uh, I'm trying to get this video in real fast. So remember, Jupiter's over here on B, H12B, on the next video, because we're priming ourselves for the next video that I'm going to be showing you from A and B, okay, on H12A and H12B. Let me show you where A looks like. Remember we had our Van Allen belts, we know that the sun's over here, so remember the sun's over here when we're on A, 
okay? The sun's in the well on A, over here actually. The sun's in the well, probably about like right there where my cursor's at.